Hi everyone, just a little introduction. If you want to get straight to the magnesium topic, whiz on to the timestamp 212 in this video. I'm trying to keep my videos straight to the point without all the backup science as I want to reach those people who want easy, simple to understand, cheap tips to improve their health. There are many health channels out there so please do your own research if you have questions. I'm not an expert. I have, however, researched and studied for 30 years or more to improve my own health and that of my family and I go by what has worked for us. I have studied the work of Adele Davis on nutrition and, while I don't agree with all she has said regarding the actual foods to eat, her groundbreaking work on vitamins and minerals was way ahead of its time. I also have studied the work of Norman Walker, so check out his books. Dan the Regenerator Man MacDonald is another person whose work I have studied, so check him out on YouTube as well. Also, Fully Raw Christina, I tend to follow her way of eating more during the summer months. I believe that a healthy colon is the key to the health of all the other parts of the body. Briefly, I have, over the years, changed my eating habits from meat eating to piscarian to vegetarian to paleo to vegan to fruitarian to mono meals to now a way of eating which totally suits me. No, I'm not a breatharian. It is what I can only describe as intuitive eating. I eat no meat nor fish. I eat lots of veg, raw most of the time, sometimes lightly steamed or stir-fried, some fruit. More in summer, actually, as regards fruit. I recently started eating eggs and sheep's cheese, also some kefir. This was due to dental issues I wanted to help heal. I try to eat raw during the weekdays and sometimes try to fast until lunchtime or dinner time, especially if I have something I'm trying to heal. I tend to eat intuitively. I do a lot of mono meals where I will eat just a couple of avocados or a handful of pre-soaked and dried cashews or a couple of bananas, then a huge bowl of salad in the evening. I still at times enjoy a curry and a gin and tonic. I just try to eat more of the good stuff so my body can cope with the occasional indulgence. Also, regular colon cleanses are important in my opinion. More on that in another video. Jittery, nervous, foggy, headache, tension, headache, hangover type headache. Some headaches may be caused by a magnesium deficiency. Even light social drinking can deplete your body of magnesium, creating a risk of heart attack. After a social event whereby you might drink one or even just one or two drinks. Take half a teaspoon to one teaspoon of Epsom salts. There are two types I use for different results. Magnesium sulfate in the form of Epsom salts Epsom salts, magnesium sulfate. It is a cheaper and effective way to up your magnesium intake. However, read the instructions on the packaging carefully. I personally take a quarter to half a teaspoon if I have a jittery and foggy type or nauseous type headache. Any more than one teaspoonful is likely to cause a, a laxative reaction. If you are lacking in this mineral, the effects will be almost within minutes. Take in warm water for faster result. It will taste bitter, but wash down with some water if needed. Magnesium chloride flakes. To put in foot soak, bath or magnesium oil spray. This type has, is very good for quicker absorption, for muscle pain, Magnesium oil spray recipe. 
one cup of magnesium chloride flakes, one cup of distilled water, optional one to two drops of essential oil of lavender. Method, heat water, not boiling, and pour onto magnesium flakes, stir until dissolved. Allow to cool, add essential oil drops if preferred, pour into a glass bottle, a, a glass spray bottle. Uses soles of feet, which may help sleep relaxation and act as a gentle sedative. About 10 sprays at the most on various parts of the body. The torso, especially the stomach area, will help absorption into the bloodstream. Back of neck may help with tension and pain. Arms and legs for muscular pain and tension. Do not spray on any broken skin. It's not harmful, but it will likely cause irritation. If it causes itchiness, dilute with a little more distilled water or spray less and put on um, and put on a more less sensitive part of the body. Never take it internally, not in this form. Disclaimer, this recipe is for external use only. Use at your own discretion. I hope these videos give you some tips which may help your health and well-being without the need for a dramatic, immediate change of diet, spending loads of money and giving you information overload. I hope you enjoy this channel. I really appreciate the comments. Please like if you do, subscribe, ding the bell for alerts to more of my videos as they are uploaded and share with someone you think might benefit from this. Thank you.